My name is Delwyn Goss. My, uh, I'm the president of Montopolis Neighborhood Association. I'm also a resident on Ponca. I just live about a half a block east of here. We're standing at the intersection of Montopolis and Ponca right now. When I first moved over here, I found four dead cats and two dead raccoons in front of my house within the first five weeks of living here. Those are animals that were born in this neighborhood. They're familiar with the traffic. They're, they have street smarts, for lack of a better word. For them to get hit by a car, for that many of them to get hit by a car in six weeks, that says a lot about the traffic on Ponca. Ponca's only one block long, but we've got this incredible amount of traffic that goes east and west on it because they don't have access to high Highway 183 from Montopolis. Initially, I tried to get speed bumps put in on Ponca. I was told that that takes a study of two to three years, and they have to come out and see how it's going to impact the rest of the the area around me. So that kind of went away. Then I thought, well, maybe can we get some speed limit signs put up because this will be a school zone. Well, then they told me that no, Ponca is not a school zone. Forget the fact that Allison Elementary start is at one end of Ponca. There's no traffic calming devices south of Town Lake and east of IH 35. Every other quadrant of the core around the city has traffic calming devices except for southeast Austin. We are the red-headed bastard stepchild of this city.